This was five hundred dollars, y'all. Five hundred dollars is supposed to last five months. <laughs> I'm down bad. Five hundred dollars. I feel like I'm peeling off your scalp. <laughs> oh. Uh, ah! I don't know why. Oh, ooh. <laughs> What's going on, guys? You already know it's your boy. M to the A to the C to the K A Y vibes. And I'm back again with another video. See, we're dropping these videos back to back. This is Mr. Consistency. You feel me? So please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do me a favor by subscribing right now and join the vibe. You know what I'm saying? My K vibes. You feel me? Vibes, you ain't want to be. So make sure you subscribe right now. Also, like this video, you know, comment them know what you think about the video. Turn on post notifications so you can get notified whenever I post videos, all that good stuff, you know. Join 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 my K vibes today. Thank you for that. You feel me? Have you done it? Appreciate it. So today, right, we're gonna be reacting to one of the videos of one of the fastest rising YouTubers right now. And his name is Gideon. That guy is not just funny, he's also very entertaining. You will see what I'm talking about in a minute, right? So this video, let's let's just react to it together. <laughs> this guy, this guy is a case. He is he is something else. Anyways, you see what I'm talking about. So this one is tied to obviously cheating during college exam. My Nigerians, they will be able to relate with this when it comes to like the types of punishment we get when we cheat. You know what I'm saying? I don't want Ninja. Oh, you got to get in now. You can't do that if they catch you. I was on TikTok, you know, doing my thing, scrolling, and I saw this controversial hair transplant surgery. If Tory Lanez could do it, if Tiger could do it, if LeBron could do it, why can't I do it? Jeez. Just like leave it like this. <laughs> the girls are gonna think I'm mixed or something. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my god, guys, would you would you do something like this? I'm actually talking to the guys right now. You that you're watching me. Would you do something like this? You know, just to impress the females. Would you do it? <laughs> Get like should I call it a wig or what? The wawa lemodie, you just plaster it to your head, you know. So some some people actually think it's your it's your natural hair shot. Yaki looks Yaki looks good though actually not too bad I'm good I literally had this shit on my head for like less than 24 hours If you if you don't know the guy from anywhere before you would think that's his natural hair It looks good actually right it's itchy, it keeps on moving. It's already literally peeling. Like we played basketball earlier. This was five hundred dollars, y'all. Five hundred dollars is supposed to last five months. <laughs> I'm down bad. Five hundred dollars. I feel like I'm peeling off your scalp. <laughs> oh uh, ah! I don't know why. Oh ooh, ooh. <laughs> Do the sides hurt? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my hair. Start from the side. Oh no, no, it hurts more that way. It hurts more that way. Just go back. <laughs> Take it off. Oh, it's off. Sheesh. That cut five, dog. So just imagine you spending five hundred. You know how much five hundred dollars is, especially when you convert it to to, to Nigerian currency naira. You know how much five hundred dollars is right now. You spend five hundred dollars on this type of hair, of hair style, or should I say, hair transplant or hair plaster or whatever, and then you end up taking it off after an hour or two hours. That's a total waste of money. Would you guys do it? Let me know in the comments. Let's go. I like it. <laughs> All right, so before I show this next clip, I want to give you guys a quick little rundown. So basically what we did was we went to a college and everything. We had got word that there was this exam going on in a class. And I thought it'd be funny just to pretend to take the test and stuff like that. Meant no harm by it. Came to my attention that after we had got done with the prank that a lot of the people in the class like felt uncomfortable. Like some of them thought we were even school shooters and anything like that. So I just wanted to come clear the air real quick in case any of the people that were in the class see this video. Hi. My name is Jadeon. No, I'm not a school shooter. And no, I did not go in there with the intention to scare anybody or make anybody feel uncomfortable. So if you felt that way, I sincerely apologize. That was definitely not my intentions. Just wanted to go in there, mess around, get a banger. So yeah, I just wanted to clear the air on that and just let you guys know, you know, I'm a cool dude, you know.
Do they on? Subscribe. Okay. Maybe. Subscribe. No, still mad at me. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Enjoy the clip. I have a mask because you have to wear a mask in the class and I put some like fake ass answers on there and then I got the sharpie on me I'm gonna write some answers on my hand and stuff and we're just gonna fuck around I'm professor how much of our grade is dependent on this exam I raw dogged the first test and I really didn't do good so like I kind of studied a little bit but I don't think I'm really prepared <laughs> <Good luck. That's> <laughs> this guy is crazy yo I'm not gonna lie, I didn't see any of this on the review sheet. Okay. Can you like give me this one and then I get the rest by myself? Yeah. Sorry. But like literally if you give me this answer, I can probably get a hundred on this. <laughs> oh my god, bro. This guy's a case. Oh my bad. Apologize. Yes, sir. Mind you, the guy is not a student of that school though. He just came there to cause trouble. <laughs> he came there to cause trouble. Can you just imagine you, you you just waking up in the morning, you know, and deciding that you know what, I'm going to a college or university, right? Going into the class and then I'll just do whatever I, I want to do. Whatever the F I want to do. You feel me? Anyways, <laughs> this guy's crazy, chat. Yeah. Don't try this in Nigeria. Don't try this in Nigeria. <laughs> oh, do not try this. Oh. Hmm. Hello. What did you get for B? Huh? What did, what, did you, what did you get for B? I think the answer was like... Take a test. Oh, come on, bro. We all know you were gonna fail. I didn't fail the first one. Yes, you did, bro. Cause I failed, and you gave me the answers. Wait, let me know, guys. What do you think a Nigerian lecturer would do in this type of situation? We've seen so many stories online about how Nigerian lecturers can be very, very brutal, man. You know, and then you now go to this length of disrespecting the lecturer. Hey, Joe, Kinomachi, what do you think they would do? And then, for the Americans that are watching this also, what do you think your lecturer would do? Professor, I'm just desperate. You're through. Leave the room. Can I talk to you after class? This professor is calm. He is really calm. Okay, guys, so I tried this with a little bit. Lecturer. I got my fucked up hairline, so I look like a totally different person. Sorry, I'm like, professor. May I please take my test? <laughs> Oh, oh God. No. You're probably thinking about my brother, Demarcus. I'm Jerome. Professor, can I please take a retest? I need this. <sighs> oh, boy, this guy, bro. Do you think I should even try something like this? Maybe I should try a prank like this. So there's a group chat of the class that we just went into, uh, right? And everybody's like boat. freaking out. For some reason, they thought it was a school shooter or something. So we're out eating and one of the girls is here right now. So I'm gonna drop all the tea. So the first girl said, guys, I kid you not, I am at Kobe and the dude who pulled the incident during the exam today is walking around and had a video dude following him. That's you. Then the next girl said, what the hell? Then the other girl said, what the hell? 
then the other girl said, record it if you can or report him. What are the odds? Oh my God. Straight up ask him who the fuck he is. TBH, I am too scared to go up to him. I bet there's some dumb YouTubers or something related. You're right, we are. The girl is literally right behind my filmer Vita. So I'm gonna just keep on walking by, sketching her out. Hey, do you guys have the notes? I'm not in school. Um, I'm trying to get the notes. Oh my god. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Wow. I feel so dumb. You make for a good team. Thank you. Superman. How you doing, man? What's your name? Man, I saw you across the way, man. Look like a raw dogger to me, so I just want to show you the new line real quick. Dang it, this is the first time I've been in this store in over 20 years. We changed a lot. You know, I took over the cosmetic department. Sales are up by 69%. We're going crazy. Uh, what do you think about this new design? That's nice. It's slick. Matte. And exactly. Yeah. Here, fill the shirt real quick. What do you think about that quality? It's soft. It's real soft, it's right? Breathable. And it's relatable too. A professional raw dog here. Like I know, I know you got a couple raw dog kills, huh? Yeah. Any kids? Oh yeah. Oh. That's my daughter there. <laughs> ah. See, this guy is crazy, man. Man, I hope you guys enjoyed that one, man. But like I said, leave your opinions in the comment section. <laughs> you know, man, like, would you actually, no, let's not keep you honest, though. Can you be bold enough to do something like that in class? Just let me know. Be honest, though. Can you be that crazy? Ah, it just looks like the guy does not give a F about anything, you know? And I feel like in life, you have to have that, that sort of mindset in a way we're not saying you should do things illegally. You know, of course, you have to be conscious of the of your environment and put it that way. But also, you also have to have that I don't give a F type of mentality where it's like you can go past your obstacles, you know, challenges and all that stuff in life. Have that type of mentality that, you know what, this I'm going to make it. If, you, if, it's, if it's that you really want to be successful in life, you can actually do it, man. You know, those that have been successful, they don't have to do it. Of course, they all started from somewhere. It's not going to be easy. But with time, if you keep going with consistency, you'll get there. And also, guys, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm going to put the my Instagram over here. You can follow me and send me a DM. You know, any videos you would want me to react to, just send it to my DMs. I'm going to be replying to your messages. So do it. You know what I'm saying? Just, just keep sending me messages, man. Send me videos you would like me to react to. And I'm going to gladly do it for y'all. You feel me? Thanks for that. Please, if you haven't subscribed yet, please be sure to subscribe right now. Like this video so it can go viral. Also, comment them know what you think about it. Turn on post notifications so you can get notified whenever I post videos. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. My K-Vibes.